Let me show you how I learned to design the web, how I learned the web designing, like the hard way or the easy way you call it. Like there are so many ways. You watch the tutorials and you do the things, but that doesn't work. Let me show you what is the right way. I did it and it actually worked. So I started creating these Git repos every day uh, for this year, like 2020, from the beginning, from, from the like uh, first Jan and i did this for two months jan and feb uh, right on from the march i was in an area where there is no internet for a long time so i do not have internet internet right now with me it's like uh, i'll be uploading this video quite later on it's not today today the date is let me show you it's fourth of march i don't know when i will upload this to the internet but i want to show you like how i learned it the internet is a different thing i just forget it so I started creating a repo git repo every day let me show you they were like very simple repos from the beginning like just to hold the page so something like this let me if I open this a very simple page it has got nothing but just <clears throat> the flex box and right now these phones are from Google phone so it's a, updating it to the default phones they are not looking pretty I know but <clears throat> since I don't have the internet so the Google phones is not working here so the phones are looking very bad I am sorry for that and uh, if I like I can show you like uh, how I begin from the very basic designs and I went on to making uh, some really good looking designs and I really explored the CSS grid the, the flex box these are the two most important things in the layout of the web because with the help of these CSS flex and uh, this grid you can make those responsive websites clean layouts and it's it has become very easy all the phones are looking very bad because the Google phone is not working but I know like can make all kind of layouts that the web can have and uh, it's like it, it has become easy for me. I, I was using this GitHub. I have an account on GitHub and I was making a repo either through this GitHub, GitHub desktop app or through the command line tool. And uh, I was using the images from Unsplash, phones from Google phones, icons from Phone Awesome. So what I have to suggest you like create, a, create an account on GitHub and start creating a Git repo every day. One repo, two repo just do it but every day like start making very very simple pages just writing just creating a box simple box on the page even that is a website because that's on the web that's on a browser you can view even even if you write like something like hello uh, and uh, you create this thing up I, I will show you like let me create a page so what i'm saying you like if you are learning how to make web like uh, the web how to make websites then you have to start making a website every day and the best way is start creating a repo get repo on the github github is very important if you are going to be a developer either you are going to be a web developer app developer game developer i mean any kind of developer you will need to use the github because github is the place where you host your code you do not have to like store everything on your desktop when things are on github they are on the cloud you can access them from anywhere and when you are going for a job people will look for your git repo like how active you are on the github if you are not very active then it's not a good thing like when you make a repo on github it shows your progress that kind of chart is there and everyone can view that if you are like showing it to your recruiters those people who are like in the companies who are taking you and it's a very great thing and creating your portfolio website on github is an, uh, another great thing i mean you can create your portfolio on the github for free i mean you can like it can be html css javascript and react also so there is no problem you can create any kind of website on the github uh, like you cannot put the php code like those things on the github but javascript is enough okay html and css even they are enough if you are just making your portfolio website just to show your work so i uh, what, what i was going to do like let me do this mars march is four always write like this the date then dot html so now this is an html file <clears throat> i will need to create an 
a CSS file also so come on and or control and then I will save this and I don't know where I'm saving them I should be saving them to the desktop style styled.css <coughs> and I will delete this because I need to save it on the desktop so it's m a r c h four dot html you know how to create the html files and css files this is one of the master files where i have hosted all the links and uh, how you create the html file you know how to do shift shift uh, one or exclamation mark all those extensions are here when you you come here install search for the HTML and it will it will suggest you all the things that you will need for the HTML it's that easy nothing tough here why it's not going away okay now it's gone if I press this thing and press tab or enter the bare bones have shown up I can put here anything like the day today and then I can link this CSS files just a link and it's inside no it's not inside any folder it's right here only so I linked this thing. If I want to link the phone awesome, then I have my phone awesome over here inside the CSS files. Side here, this is the phone awesome. I will need to take it otherwise. This is bootstrap. I'm not using bootstrap. So inside the CSS, I have another folder that is C phones. If I copy this then put this on the desktop and create another folder and call this CSS and now put this style.css inside this. Now I will need to put those phones as well inside the CSS. Now I will come back to my HTML file and my now my style.css is inside the CSS folder. So it works like this. I need to link this phone awesome file now so these things are inside the CSS folder then inside that I have another folder that is phones then there is another folder CSS then that inside that folder there is all dot min dot CSS let me show you where this thing is coming from inside my CSS folder there is a folder called phones then another CSS then here is all dot min dot CSS why I am using this because this is compressed like this things are minimized for a, a faster upload it doesn't take much time or bandwidth so now things are done i have the access to the phone awesome icons and i have the access to my css file on my css file right now i have nothing but i can write the code i will need to open it again i will go back to my desktop and here is my CSS file. I will open this with my code editor. I'm using the VS code. So what I am saying you like, start creating a repo every day. So I am going to create one, but I do not have the internet right now with me. So I, I will not be able to upload this to the internet. So I will just be gi giving you an example. Instead of writing like this, let me suggest you a better way, H E A D or header and give it a class. Now it will write automatically. Now inside this, I can create the logo h1 hash logo and it can be anything like web yeah not any simple thing and then the nav bar dot you can give it any links or maybe the same name and inside this you can have a tags and give them classes as well no problem like this and here the first will be home two three four let's have four and maybe about and portfolio contact and after this I want to have those icons as well so I will create this social a dev and inside that I want to have like <clears throat> the eye to use the icons you have to use right now I cannot open the phone awesome website I do not have the internet so I will use it how it works so class for for dash search hope it works and I will duplicate this and put user over here duplicate it one more time and SHO shopping dash bag I hope this works if it doesn't work then I have I will have to use a different thing do not worry 
So I will open this now. The user has worked, but other two things are not. So instead of phone awesome regular, I will use phone awesome simple here too. And let me see if this works or not. It kind of worked. So I will go inside my CSS file and I will style the header. I will need to add few more things, but let, let's do this thing first. Display it as flex and justify content space between. Right now our header has no width because we have not given it. So it will just take anything. Right now you see those spaces here and there. Why they are coming? Because browser has some default margins and paddings we need to remove that if we do not remove that then we cannot design website as we want so i will do this one thing i will reset the padding to zero margin to zero and now i should see a difference now they are touching it's looking looking bad i know but this is how we design now we can give the things as we want first of all we need to create the body Okay, guys, what I'm doing, I'm like trying to show you how to learn the web design. If you are learning, like watching a lot of tutorials and not creating a website every day or repo every day on the GitHub, then it's not, not going to work. I have like created so many of them, like for clients also and uh, for me as well to brush up my skills. I have been doing this th thing for a long time because but instead of using that bootstrap and those things, I I want to do things in the raw form by using the raw CSS. That's the beauty of this thing. And its height should be automatic that it should divide, I um, mean, decide itself. And VW means view width, nothing more. And now this thing is done. Now we need to give some width to the header. But we can make it 100% also, but we will make it like 80% here. And the height can be anything or we can give it some height explicit height like maybe how about 100 pixels that's good now we need to put the things put things in the center if I reload it now things are not looking good why I will tell you why I have to give the margin maybe 2% at top and bottom and automatic on the left and right so that the things are centered now things are centered we have given it 80 percent width so it's in the center and there's gap on the left and right side and there is some gap at the top because we have given that margin at the top that is two percent now those links are not spaced out how and why because we have given them a class of n links n l i n k s n links and they need some padding how about 30 pixels if i do it now does it work that works but they have an underline I need to remove that so how is that going to happen that is text decoration and I can do it like none if I do this things will be changed I will be using the default phone or maybe I will use some sun serif phone phone family I will try to use some sun serif hope the CEO, CEO works that's looking fine now if you want to make them capital capitalized then you have to use text transform and uppercase and if you want to give them color just put the color and maybe black just write the black on this that's the code for the black and they are black the phone font is large you know do you want to reduce the size so font size maybe 0 0.9 m's or you could write 12 pixels 14 pixels 16 pixels as you like if you want to make them further down then you can reduce or increase them now they are looking good but do you want to space them out 30 pixels is less maybe 50 pixels that's looking okay and now those icons do not have the space and I need to access that and they are inside the social div that has a div and that has a class of social and inside that social whatever is an I those icons they need some padding and I will not give them padding like to all the sides but to the left side I do not want this thing to be thrown from here but I want these things to be thrown here so the left margin should work mm, margin padding let's try margin to the left of around 20 pixels let's see if that works or not it 
kind of worked why don't we try the padding because that has thrown other things as well let's see if this works or not mm, that's looking okay do you want to space them out maybe furthermore or around 24 pixels and we want to reduce the font size as well font size around 0 dot 9 m's m's is just a unit and uh, I hope these are aligned vertically oh, no sorry horizontally if they are not then inside the header we have to do this align items center now if they are not then they will be they are they are aligned in the center inside the header that has a height of 100 pixels and also this margin at the top is working if I make it 0% let's see what happens they have gone to the top they are in the center of that 100 pixels height of the header is that making sense to you these are three elements inside this website that has a body and the body is width is 100% inside that thing we have a header that has a width of 80% and the height of that header is 100 pixels these three elements this logo these nav icons these user and those uh, phone awesome icons are like aligned in the center of that 100 pixels high header up to here things should be clear to you now now we have to create the main thing and we go inside the HTML file and create the main give it a class of main and inside this thing now you can create the things as you want let's create something like a title so it can be an S2 and give it a class of T-I-T-L-E title inside you can write like maybe well welcome to my page uh, it can be anything and underneath this we want to have some kind of boxes to display our portfolio so we can create a section or a dev up to you and call it like gallery and inside this we want to have some boxes that contain image and some details maybe just the image maybe box just a div and inside this box i want to have an image img tag and i do not have the images inside my folder so i will just copy some images here i will go to my github and inside github i have the img folders i will copy some images that i can use for the portfolio uh, just to hold the space so let's use some very simple images i will use these images news 1 news 2 news 3 news 4 news 5 news 6 news 7 news 8 yeah no problem so i will go back to my desktop and inside i will create a folder for img so things are easy no not the IG but img inside this i will post space those images these images are accessible to me now and uh, if I go back to my HTML file and uh, IMG inside NEWS, that is the name of those, and they are, I hope they are PNG, not JPEGs. They are PNG, yes. And uh, alt, always write something inside the alt. Um, no, no, not the alt, but image of something that's created because when images doesn't upload to the website, they will display that text that's helpful and now the image is very large i can reduce its size or i think this image is larger compared to the other images so i can use some different image maybe news 2 let or news 4 let's try that i will come back to the browser hope this thing is making sense to you like what i'm doing i'm showing you like how to create those things inside the github and i have made like i hope i have made a video on how to create your like the github repo all you have to do is like create your account on the github uh, download this app if the command line tool is difficult for you use this this is rather easy and inside this you have to like log in then whatever changes you make i think this is asking me i created a link and it it is already asking me to upload this to the github it's this easy but i do not have the internet so i will not be able to upload this repo to the github account but anyway this is easy when you create something inside that github folder when you create your github account you 
download this app this will ask you to create a repo give that a unique name and uh, whatever images links files you will add this will ask you to commit them give any name here like it is fourth of march so i can like put fourth of march i think that's a special date something i don't know no okay and then commit to master then you have to click let uh, let me yeah it will ask you to push your reason so the git is published it's that easy and now why this thing is touching this thing why because we not we have not given any width to the main it's taking just whole width so i can do one thing main needs some styling main can have a width of just like the header maybe 80 percent 80 bw means the same thing height can be automatic because we do not want to use our brain here it should and also that margin because we want to center the things so what is that m a r g margin um how about two percent at the top and bottom and automatic on the left and right so the things are centered now you are seeing something happening and now now that title welcome to my page is like is like not having the space at the bottom so we can give that some margin and anyway we want to use some good phone inside the main so I'm going to use that same see what is it? that SEO something now it has taken a common phone and this is this phone phone is available on my system offline so it's working I am not able to use the Google phones. I always use Google, Google phones because they are amazing phones and uh, they are like easy to use and very pretty phones and they upload very fast also on the websites. Okay, and now this title, this title is does need a margin at the bottom. So it is not touching the things, not the margin, but margin at the bottom of around 4% because we want to give some good enough spacing you see I maybe I will increase this to around 8% or 12% that's making some sense now I can duplicate and box I will do one thing I'll be showing you how to use CSS grid maybe so uh, I will put like I will duplicate this link by pressing shift option or shift alt down arrow to three four so we have four those images and maybe I can change the names five six two and they are inside the gallery I will style the gallery now gallery I will display that as a grid and I need to have four columns so grid template columns I will use a repeat function this is a smart thing instead of using writing like 1fr 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 or 300 pixels 300 pixels 300 pixels let me show you how it works it is working there is no space in, in between them why because we have kind of uh, it's 80 percent and the images are larger if I give this some column gap column gap around two percent let me see if that works or not kind of worked but this thing is flowing out of the whole thing why don't we increase the size of main to around 96 percent and now things are going a bit okay but instead of using this 1fr 1fr why don't we use some smart thing that is a repeat function a repeat function we want to repeat it four times maybe one fraction of the width and also the columns we want to have grid template rows we worked on the columns now we want to work on the rows so we will use the repeat function again we want to repeat like three times and uh, how it should be one fr no problem 
and the row gap there that should be there as well of around six percent or eight percent let's see and now i will do one thing i will duplicate them like this let's see let's see if it works or not you see those things are working there is little problem here it's not aligned to this side maybe we can align this text to the center how we do that it's title and it should be text align in the center if i try this let me see if it works or not it's working now it needs margin at the top as well it's like touching the things at the top how about, how about 12 percent that will be added to the bar margin at the bottom as well and it will be huge let me reduce it to like eight percent maybe that should work kind of working now i need to give some margin on the left side to the whole gallery about about two percent margin to the left around two percent maybe four percent let's see if that works or not i think it's uh it's centered now things are in the center and uh, they are going down you have created a kind of portfolio gallery i can increase the row gap maybe around 12 percent because it's a bit less right now and you can put some text on the hover you can add some i can add some effects and you have something ready for you so all i had to show you is like start creating your github repos and start making simple websites it's not tough it's very easy and do not use a bootstrap if you are a beginner it doesn't make sense it makes your websites ugly yes and your websites looks like everything every website looks similar i mean okay this website is made in the bootstrap i can just say that by looking looking on the website how many tweaks have you you have done but anyone looking at that website will say oh you made this website in the bootstrap not so pretty so start making it and if you have questions do ask me i'll be happy to help you thank you have a great day